Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we are learning uh, number 135 of um, Surah Baqarah. I will be the For a while, circle your lips, put the towel on your jaws. Qaf is a heavy letter, so we will write capital H. The top, okay, and it is at the highest rank of heaviness, so make it heavy. Oh, lu, lu, for the muscle, curl your lips and make it two counts long. So, oh is two counts long, and lu is two counts long. Well, oh, lu, gu, cup is light for the muscle, curl your lips and make it two counts long. Gu, nu, circle your lips very well and. Keep it two counts long because um, there are uh, three uh, long, uh, naturally long, vowel, long vowels in uh, Quran. Alif sakina qabla ha maftuh, wow sakina qabla ha magmum, and ya sakina qabla ha maksub. So this ku combination matches second option. This ku. Wow, sakina qabla ha matmum. Nu, wow, sakina qabla ha matmum. So, um, you have to write two, two at the top. Who, who is also two counts long. Then, uh, this is ibhar. Um, whenever uh, Hamza is followed by the uh, tanmeen. Uh, tanmeen. So, um whenever hamza is followed by the um uh, it there will be izhar so there are six huruf uh, halaqi um uh, throat letters six uh, throat letters and these are um kha ain ha And Hamzaha. Whenever you find them, and the tanmeen or or um, tanmeen or um, tan or uh, or noon sakin is followed uh, by them, so there will be ibhar. And idhar is to say the tanmeen in a very clear sound. And you will add sika of the wasut. Because you are pronouncing uh, this tanmeen very clearly. Who then? So uh, there will be a the wasut, sika of the wasut. And the um, rule will be idhar. Who then? Aw, Hamza, nah, Hamza is a very sharp, pinchy sound for fatha open your jaws, attached with bow. This is lean. And there lean, how many, two huruf uh, lean are there? Wow lean and ya lean. Wow lean is wow sakna qabla ha maftu and ya lean is ya sakna qabla ha maftu. Both. So this is lean. How you will pronounce? You will make it two counts long, and you should say it very softly and um, give a nice uh, 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 time for fatha and attach with wow very softly. Ow, na, na, so, uh, short. So, so it is heavy uh, and it is two counts long. Why? Because this tanning fatha is just like a complete alif. So it is two counts long because this uh, matches this combination. Can you see? This is this combination. It's this uh, standing fatha is just like this mm, mm, complete alif. So this is, um, if you want to say saw, and this is in this condition, you can write it like this too. It is so, look, this is alif, and before uh, alif, there is fatha. So, this is a long combination. Now, so, so, this heavy too. Now, so, ro, ro is heavy here. 
and it is uh, two counts long too because this standing patha is just uh, it's actually a, uh, a complete alif so you can write it like this too ro ro na so ro ro is heavy here because whenever ro is with patha or dhamma it is always heavy and the heavy ro sounds like ro ro and two comes long the uh, has rakawa and rakawa is a flow of uh, sound so give a complete flow of sound the 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 is uh, short do circle your lips very well and make it two counts long because this is this belongs to this combination wow sakna qabla hamatnum look wow is second and it, uh, it is followed by dhamma Ul for dhamma, circle your lips, attach with lam. Lam will get uh, sifa of the wasud because lin umar are the letters. Lin umar are five letters. Whenever these are with um, with sukun, we'll get sifa of the wasud. And the wasud is a medium flow of sound. The wasud. And we will give abbreviation of capital T. Ul, this l sound is the wasud. Ul. Bell, ba. Whenever you're saying ba, um, don't press too hard. Um, like you, you will not bend your lips in to say ba. You have to press little hard. Um, uh, uh, both lips should be pressed little hard, but you cannot bend in your lips. Okay, so uh, for ba and ba is attached with lam and lam gets sifa of the wasud because then amar are the letters whenever these are with sukun will get sifa of the wasud and the wasud is a medium flow of sound nil nil give e sound very clearly because you cannot drop this kasra when it is attached with the letter which is um, the uh, the next letter nil me, me, la, la is short. Uh, open your jaws for patha. Ta, ta is short. Me, la, ta, ibe. For kasra, give very pinchy um, and uh, sharp sound. And for kasra, give e sound. E sound should be there uh, for kasra. Ibe, ibe. And ba never will get sip of kalkala because kutu bujadin are the letters whenever these are with sukun will get sip of kalkala. Ibe ro ro is two counts long. Why? Because this standing patha is just like um, uh, it is actually a um, uh, complete alif. So you can write it like this too. So be um, very much clear that. You are making it two counts long, and ra is heavy because ra has fatha. Ra he he is two counts long. Ma short. He um this yeah he you can also write like this. He this is complete ya. So you are making so ya sakna kablaha maksur. So this combination matches this combination. So you are making it long. He, ma, ma is short. Uh, ha, ha from your throat. Ni, two comes long because no, ya, sakina, kabla, maksu, there is ya. And it is followed by kasra. So uh, this is a naturally long um, combination. And how will you stop here? You will give it madarat because whenever you find two fathas you just uh, simply remove one fatha and it will be two counts long now and you exchange the sound of the mean into mad letter that's why it is called mad arit and mad sorry mad awad sorry mad awad and mad awad has to be stretched two counts long hanifa Wa, circle your lips for wow. To pronounce wow, you have to circle your lips. For what help on your jaws? Ma, two counts long. Wa, ma, ka, two counts long. Na, short. Ka, na, ka is light. 
Gana me me. Orchestra. Give E sound. E should be there. This E. Me. Me. Nel. Or lamb. You are giving the word. Mush. Oh, she will get rohawa. The sound should flow. It shouldn't stop. Mush for Doma, circle your lips. And as soon as you will touch she, your lips should be in a straight, normal position. Mush ri. Ri is, uh, is light here because whenever ra is with kasra, it is light. The light ra sounds like ri. And here the sound is short. Ri ki. There is mad aridle sakun because you are giving temporary sakun of because of vav. And before temporary sukun, you found two counts long vowel. And now because of this temporary sukun, this two counts long vowel will be changed into four. This is the mechanism of mad aridle sakun. So we will make it long, four counts long. وَقَالُوا كُونُوا هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارَى تَهْتَدُوا قُلْ بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.